Hey, good morning everybody. Today, we're doing another new series, and here on this beautiful morning, I'm going to be breaking down music videos. Um, basically, this series I wanted to do because I love watching music videos. Music videos, I think, are some of the most, like, amazing, like, pieces of art out there. Like, I honestly believe when I'm watching film and I'm watching TV, a lot of the times I think, man, I don't know why shows and movies don't take advantage of the listening aspect. Hearing, the hearing world is just as, if not more important than the viewing world. Especially uh, for me, because I feel like I remember stuff better when I, and I see it. So, I think music videos are some of the like best entertainment out there. The only problem with that is, uh, due to their format, I don't really get to watch a whole lot of them because I'm not making videos about them. But that changes today. Um, I didn't want to make a whole bunch of these because if I only broke down music videos, that would be basically, like, I could do that for a whole year's worth of Good Morning Soul. So instead, I was like, let me just choose like one artist, uh, someone who has pretty good music videos, and I'll just break down most of, if not all, of their music videos. So I thought, hey, Childish Gambino, <coughs> he has uh, fun music videos. Um, so I was like, hey, I'll break down every music video by Childish Gambino, at least the ones that I saw online when I was, you know, breaking down the episodes I wanted to cover. So I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 music videos. And today we're talking about the first one. This is Bonfire. And I do want to preface this by saying I am a very casual Childish Gambino fan. Obviously, I love 2005. I love a lot of songs, but I wasn't there in the early days. You know, I wasn't there for camp and all that shit um i don't really i know that a lot of his stuff has like bigger meanings that are like open to interpretation and some people have theories about him some people think all that theory bullshit is bullshit um so i want to say like my perspective here is coming from someone who is here for the music i'm familiar with the music but i'm not like invested like i don't know like the ins and outs of his music like do some art, some other artists. Okay, so now that the is out of the the first music video I want to do is Bonfire, and I didn't really read this music. I feel like I must have watched this. I feel like back in the day when I was like making my music library from downloading it off of YouTube. That's probably where I saw this, and that's probably like. Whenever I did that, I, like, would, you know, glance at whatever the music video or whatever else is. Um, I never really got the story sometimes because I was just, you know, downloading so many songs. I didn't really get the chance to actually watch the videos. So, this was a pretty good one to start off with because there is definitely a story here. And it definitely synced in with the music really well. So, we get Donald Glover who wakes up from this... Uh, darkness and he wakes up with a noose around his neck and he's wearing a shirt that says Camp Gambino and again I haven't listened to Camp in depthly I don't know if this ties into the album at all um, it could I'm not entirely sure I know he makes a couple references like at the end of the song he says this is gonna be uh, uh, like a summer like the best fucking summer ever whatever he says and so he wakes up with this noose around his neck and obviously he tried to kill himself. He looks up and he sees that the rope broke. And so he literally kind of looks around for a while like, really? Like, what the fuck? Like, this is, this is seriously happening? Like, that is such a, the, the expression on his face was captured so perfectly because if you are trying to kill yourself, obviously you are letting everything go in life. You are no longer grounded to the human world. Um, and then it just breaks and you're back on planet Earth and you're literally just like, well, 
all of that baggage that I just let go is now back on my shoulders. It's kind of like if you just took off like a giant backpack that weighed like 500 pounds and then you're just like, oh my God. And then you just put it back on. You're like, oh, well shit. Um, but anyway, anyway, as he's like, like kind of just lost and confused, he sees this guy with a knife and a noose and he's walking towards a bonfire. And there's a bunch of teenagers or people around this bonfire and they're telling a ghost story. So obviously he's about to witness a murder and uh, he's a good person, so he's gonna put a stop to it, even though that's my alarm. Uh, that was embarrassing. Um, it's early in the morning for me too. Um, so yeah, he watches this guy about to get murdered, even though like right away I thought to myself, you know, he's probably just pulling a prank. Um, especially as this guy's telling a ghost story. Um, he runs after this guy, and the way the music, uh, the hook plays right when he starts, you know, running, and it's like, it's about to be a bonfire, like, I never really listened to this song that much, like, it was kind of interesting to hear it again. So, as he, there's like a weird... Uh, perception of how far away these people are because he looks at them and they're like not that far away but then he's running for like minutes it, he runs so long that like when he finally catches up to them he like looks around like he's not sure where they are and then he's like oh they're right there and I was like motherfucker before you were like in eye distance from them how do you sprint and then not know where they are like that doesn't make any sense to me but he he Later on, we find out when this guy, he pulls out this knife on them, and obviously he's joking. Obviously, these two guys were just pulling a prank telling this ghost story. And and the way he pulls out, uh, there's a part of the song where Gambino has an ad-lib about this lyric he had. And he does one of, he does this sometimes, and the guy comes out going, hey, like... Uh, he does that. It matches the song perfectly. Obviously, like, I can see this music video being made in someone's mind before it was put here in front of us. So I love whenever I get to see stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the guy pops out. It's all laughs. And when Gambino ran up on them, they didn't see him. They literally just ignore him. And then that's when you suddenly realize... Uh, and you can see this face perfectly on Gambino. It's three minutes into the music video. His face is just stone wall. And he literally realizes, oh, I'm dead. He realizes I'm a ghost. And I was looking up um, more information uh, about the music video, trying to see if my theory was right that he's a dead person. And that seems to be the case. Not only that, I didn't put this together. They, they were telling the story about Gambino. Gambino has been dead for a while. They are telling the ghost story about him. That's where, why they're wearing a Camp Gambino shirt. And that is also why the other guy is holding a noose. He's telling the story about being a ghost. He's trying to save the day. Dressed in these really short shorts and this, you, this extreme you neck. Uh, I don't know how that shirt came to be, but yeah, um, so Gambino's soul is trapped in this, uh, this campfire, uh, legend thing. I think that's cool. It also makes these, you know, kids look kind of sickish for doing this activity that I don't think anyone who is, who would be there in the moment would be like, ah, oh, don't, don't disrespect a, a person who used to exist. But to them, it's like, we don't, we don't fucking give a shit. Uh, Gambino's fucking socks. I'm just laughing at those. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the story. Um, I'm not reviewing the song, so I don't want to go too much into the song. But, you know, I like the way it jumps to the hook. Uh, at this point in time, Gambino's style is really a lot more crude and a lot more yelling and a lot more anger. Um, I definitely like the more laid-back Gambino and the more, like, 
uh, artistic. Like, I'm not saying he's not artistic here, but he's like making lines about fucking girls and making lines about getting a blowjob. Uh, yeah, not for me, not for me. Especially when he's doing it so anger, angrily, like, he seems really trying to just, and this came back in 2011. You know, he's not fucking Landau. He's not the guy from Spider-Man or whatever else he's in. Uh, he's trying to kind of prove himself, like, a little too hard. He's really trying to, uh, sh throw his weight around even though it isn't there yet. But, um, yeah, um, we'll see how that progresses. Um, I'm going to watch a couple more music videos, and, yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Bonfire. It was a pretty cool music video. I thought the story here was really interesting. Um, and I think that's everything. I don't know, should I do ratings for music videos? That seems kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. Thank you for watching, and until then, with that, I leave you.